do you lead a stressful, high-pressure life these days? Who doesn't? You probably know that lifestyle puts you at risk for high blood pressure, heart disease, and a number of other things. But our Dr. Max Gomez is here to add one more thing. Vision loss, Max? That's right. Hey, Dana, Maurice. You know, stress can be a funny thing. Some people get stressed by little problems, while surgeons and air traffic controllers seem to thrive on it. Either way, it can take a toll. And while heart and stroke issues are well known, even many doctors are surprised to hear that your eyesight could also be at risk. The stock market is on a roller coaster and brokers are in the thick of it. Streets are crowded, traffic is clogged. It's almost as if all New Yorkers are type A personalities. Armando Tejala is one of those urban warriors. Having two jobs, sleeping uh, six hours, seven hours a day, uh, running around the minute you wake up, trying to multitask. Yeah. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. Mm -hmm. And doing it seven days a week. All of which he thought he was handling fine until one day a few months ago. i always been 20-20 in my life, in my vision. Uh, this morning I wake up and I notice something really different. I couldn't see in my right eye completely. Turns out Tejada was a classic case of something called central serous retinopathy, mm -hmm. a medical term for vision loss that tends to affect males between the ages of 20 and 50 who are under significant stress. One day their eyesight is fine and the next things are very blurry right in the center of their visual field. But how does stress lead to this? There's a theory that release of adrenaline associated with high stress levels causes a dysfunction in the cells underneath the retina allowing fluid to build up within the retina. Here's what it looks like on a retina scan. The fluid buildup lifts the retina, the light sensitive layer at the back of the eye. The dark area under the bump is fluid. Here, a few months later, the fluid is gone and the retina is flat again. In the majority of cases, the fluid tends to go away spontaneously. Now, Mr. Tejada's vision did get better on its own, but anyone who suffers sudden vision loss, even a little, needs to see an eye doctor right away because early treatment can save your eyesight. Oh, and Mr. Tejada told me he's cutting back on his workload and stress, which help should help prevent any future problems, and, you know, it's good for your health overall anyway. Overall, good advice. We've all made stress. a promise, too. <laughs> yeah, Thank <I> you. <laughs>